Hello everybody, this is Els, Elizabeth Craft Designs. Happy Friday. Uh, I am here in my, uh, as you can see, in my home studio. So um, I'm going to glitter today. So I'm just going to wait a little bit so everybody comes in. I just noticed it was 12 already when I started. So normally I start a little bit earlier. So um, who do I see? Uh, Natasha, Judy. I see people coming in. Belinda, hi. I'm just going to see because I have my laptop here if that works as well. If I'm going to see you there. Oh, yeah, I see myself. Oh, good. good. Let's see if I don't have the sound on. It would be good. All righty. Oh, that's actually easy to see. So uh, that's better. Yeah. So stamp a lot. Hi. I just got a message from Honora that uh, you shipped her order. So it arrived. So we had a shipping uh, thingy going on again. Uh, not Ben's mistake, not, not the warehouse mistake, it was something with DPD, I don't know, you know, there's always something. Uh, but I know you got it because Honora was very happy that it shipped. So, uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to uh, turn my camera around so I don't need to hold you uh, like this that much. Uh, and thank you all for joining in, of course, like, comment and share to make a chance for the $50 gift certificate. And then we have a special going on for the t uh, tape and the glitter uh, till Monday. And um, not a big, big news is that we start shipping the Christmas paper in Europe. In Europe. We'll be weeks before it's here. But in Europe, we're starting to ship the Christmas paper on Monday. So that is good. So the stores can order on Monday. Uh, they will get an email. And um, yeah, so that's great news. So something is happening. Planners and, uh, planners and sidekicks, not yet. Uh, so what I want to do, uh, I'm going to turn the camera around. I want to, because I changed a little, because I'm still organizing my craft room here. So I did a few things that I thought, oh, that's handy. Uh, so I will show you that because I wanted to, it was, um, who was it? I think it was Laurie that said, oh, my glitter, why don't I get my glitter out? Uh, and the glitter is actually, uh, you know, I have, I just took it out and put it in a spot that I can really just grab it all the time, which I like to do. So uh, let me turn the camera around and then you can see what I did. So I put it in the top of one of my green cards here, which is super easy. You see, so all the colors are here, all the colors of glitter, except for the sets, because in Europe we don't have the sets. So we're almost sold out here, I think. So, uh, yeah, and then I have some of the glaze embossing powders there. You see, so that just fits perfectly. And then I have my uh, glitter tray there with my coffee filter. Uh, so that just works well. And what I did underneath here, of course, you see that there I have my um, my uh, Swiffers there, my floor Swiffers. And for the people that don't know what, what I mean with that, th those are just those, uh, those thingies that you normally put around a Swiffer. And I have that in there, so now my glitter... Uh, doesn't uh, fall out like uh, like to the parts underneath there and here i put my uh my distress inks in a, actually the, the old glitter tray i had because that fits perfectly so when i want to move this it's easy to remove as well and i think i saw a, a, a question passing by i'm just going to put it in the stand now sorry i think i saw a, pa a question passing by that when um the uh, monsters are getting back in stock was that um Use tumble dry sheets. I think work well too. Oh, tumble dry sheets. Yeah, those are a little bit harder. So I don't use those for the to because when I work here or my if I have glitter here, I use my Swiffer to take it off. And I don't think those uh, those sheets will work for that. The tumble dry sheets. Maybe after you use them, could be. But uh, I really like the Swiffers because it just like a dis duster picker upper. You probably all have something uh, uh, that you can use for that kind of uh, thing. Do you take the lid of the dish? Oh, no, no, I, uh, no, no, I uh, put them together here. I just put the next one in the, in the lid from the other one here like this. So you open the lid and then you can just uh, put the next one in there. That's what I do. And um, when I take them with me, I just close them, of course. So no, I did not take the lid. So they just... Like the tin fits in the lid. So that's kind of how I do. Can you see? Oh, yeah, you can see it. Yeah. Um, let me see if I, because I probably missed a lot of comments. And playing with the glitter is just, you know, I just started again. It's so much fun. Uh, it's all, yeah, Cindy says I cannot wait for the glitter. There are a ton of, um, a ton of, uh, uh, like, um, videos already for the silk microfine glitter. So if you go to our YouTube channel, 
you will find a lot there already because it's really it's uh, fun and of course stuck uh, uh, stock up on your tape because uh this is the time and you don't want to miss uh that special so you see i did some things already i'm going to show you what didn't work that well and what works well so i'm going to show you that uh because uh that uh, gives you some tips and tricks what i want to show first is the um and that's what I have here as well in my green card, the tape, because always keep your tape at hand. And that I always have at hand. And I will take the six inch here. And what I will do, I'll just show you quickly for the newbies under us, uh, how you attach that tape to the uh, cardstock. So basically you take your tape, you open it, you stretch it with your finger here, you line it up, or you know, it doesn't need to be perfect in this case, of course, you just push it down turn it around like this you see and then you take a craft knife and you just cut it off like this and then you close it and then you have always a perfect clean uh, edge here hello from colorado it's warm again in colorado today i had to turn off my uh my uh air conditioning now like my fan here we have echo but it doesn't in my craft room it gets warmer in the morning, so I have an extra blower as well. I know, Ans, it's really nice to play with the glitter, honestly. There's so many things you can do with that. And of course, well, I will tell that during, uh, while I do my life. And then, uh, you know, just give you some tips and tricks. And um, so, start with this one. So, this is regular cardstock. It's a little bit thicker. If you want to die cut, thank you. And Anja is here, of course, to, um, to do the comments. Oh, and before I forget to say, for next week... Uh, I was going to do the live on Wednesday myself, but um, we got an opportunity to go um, uh, to be gone with the RV for two nights. So I'm not here on Wednesday and Friday. And then David was so nice to take over both. And then on Monday, we have Lisanne and her mother Petra. So Lisanne and Petra both will be here. So that is so, uh, that is so nice. Vlieg met een Yeah, you know, if you do that, you know, we get cut out of... Uh, Several times already, they 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 uh, put the sound down on Facebook on our uh, on our videos partly, and I think that might have to do with that you mentioned like a uh, song text or whatever. I have no idea, but uh, yeah. So we go. Uh, we will be gone from Wednesday till Friday. We do have if all works out, we will we will have Starlink. Uh, Starlink is uh, you know the the Elon Musk. Uh, uh, thing that you can take with you so we get a little disc and we can take that with and then we should have internet although we're in the boonies we should have internet so i'm going to try i didn't want to take the risk so uh, david is doing the live on wednesday and friday but if it works well i might do a test uh, thing and just pop in and to see if it works because then i can really be uh, with the rv on the road with the rv and have internet so that would be great uh, yeah, super. Yeah, exactly. Mother and daughter, Peter and Lisanne. Yeah, so that will be nice. And um, yeah, so watch that. And I did send the paper to Lisanne as well. I don't know if Lisanne is here because she doesn't even know that yet. Uh, because it really just came in. So um, Lisanne, if you're here, the paper is on the way to you as well, the new paper. So if you have it on Monday, you can show that to the people as well. But I will uh, send Lisanne a message as well. Uh, so and then David is going to work with the new paper on uh, Wednesday, but Lisanne prepared something else. Oh, there's there's Lisanne. Lisanne, the Christmas paper is on its way to you, so um, you will get it. And if you want to do something with it, that's fine. If you can also just show it to the people, so make sure to tune in on Monday as well, because uh, Lisanne, if she gets it tomorrow or Monday, it should be, then she will be able to show you the Christmas paper already, which is exciting. Okay, so um, what I wanted to say about this. So this is a little bit heavier cardstock. So when I want to die cut this, it's a little bit, depending on what you die cut, like the lantern, I could easily cut out of this heavier cardstock. That's not a problem. But uh, uh, the, the page, I did the page, so that's what I used here, and I'll tell you what I did here. This is already too, th you see, this is too detailed. So some parts come out, but it's, you know, not everything. So that's a hassle. And sometimes when it's something like this, you know, you just, uh, I only have a blue scissor. Uh, because uh, with the kids here, things disappear. They end up in a different place. Uh, so my pink scissors are gone, I think. I will find it somewhere. Uh, but you see, so you can push out those pieces, but sometimes you need to help it a little bit. So that, that's easy as well. 
But you don't want to do that with that whole page. So this was a hassle. So this is a no-go for me. Uh, too much uh, too much trouble and too much extra work. So what I actually will do with this one, because I don't want to waste my stuff. So I just take my scissor, because I can use it for other things. But that page will be gone. So I just save this piece. I can use that. And the rest is trash. Too much work. Too much work. So, but I wanted to try this. So what I did is, I did cut it out of thinner cardstock. And that worked well. So I actually did a thin craft uh, cardstock here. <laughs> but then it was... You know, it's it's this is this is not a project I would repeat uh, ten times. It's much easier to just uh, if you want to use it for cards to just glitter uh, die cut these and uh, glitter those. Much easier. But I I started it, so I wanted to finish it. So I have this project. But then you can see if you see the die. So I'll show you what I did because it was it, this was complicated. Yeah, yeah, call it cardstock because uh, then you see the white edges. Uh, you don't see the white edges, and that's what I like better. I need blue. <laughs> Who's saying that? Femka. No, that's actually the earlier one we had. You know, you should. Uh, next time we might change colors again. I don't know. But we had blue first, and then we went to the pink. I don't. Do I have? Uh, oh, I yeah, the blue was actually different here. We had the blue tweezers as well. That's an old one. You see? So we did have that. But, uh, yeah. But my pink scissors are gone. I should not show you that then. Yeah. Thank you, Stacey, for like, commenting, and sharing. Okay, so um, what I did here. So I cut the page, you see, uh, out of this, uh, out of the thin cardstock, the thinner one. Sorry, not this. And then uh, what I did is, I'll just tell you, and then you can decide if you ever want to try that or not. Uh, what I did is I put three mail tape on the back. On the back of that cardstock. Then I could easily trim that off. But then you see that page is larger. So it ended here. So I didn't have this. But that was easy because I trimmed this on the 3 mil. I actually I stock up on that as well. Stock up on all your tape because really good. Uh, so the 3 mil tape. So I just put a line here of that tape. And glittered that. So I glittered the 3 mil tape here. So you just take, it, you just take your tape. Uh, and you line it up here. And then I glittered it. So that's what I did. Uh, and that was easy. In white and colored outside of the edges. Is there a big difference in white and colored outside the edges that remain? Once, uh, remain white. You can still blend it. Blend it with ink. Else, Yeah, you can, you can go around the edge with ink. But it's just if you use like this one. I use that green colored cardstock. And then you have no edges that you need to color. Period. So that's just easy. If I, if I know what I'm going to do. I like to, uh, but I was actually thinking for, um, because if I want to uh, have thin cardstock, like all the craft stores have, uh, I'm going to say something that I maybe shouldn't say, but I'm doing it anyway, you know me. Uh, the craft stores have all that nice quality cardstock. So that's what you use for your cards and for, for everything you do in crafts. Uh, so you buy that nice uh, quality cardstock, nice colors. So for if I want to use a green for this and I want to have it thinner, you buy the, the crappy stuff. That is just not the weight of the nice colored cardstock. So crap, crappy cardstock for underneath uh, your tape uh, will work. Will work. Uh, and maybe the stores can get thinner cardstock as well. I don't know. Like in a nice colors. I, I, they actually might be able to have that. But I know uh, like crafters for basic cards. You always like to use the, the nice cardstock. So you buy it at your craft store. Um... So that's it. Uh, Waldo is here. Femke, can you get blue one for David with his name on it? Well, that will be. I'll tell you that will. Yeah, crappy stuff. Yeah, that's what. It, yeah, that's what it is. It's crappy stuff, you know. Or or, or, or stuff. No, not crappy. Just thin, less quality. Let's say it less quality. Or cardstock. If you have a grandson like I do that just want to use a cutter and cut away in the cardstock. Then uh, you can give him like the thin card, you know, because he just, he makes something out of it. He actually made this. Let me show you. That was a project, like my glitter tray here. That was something. This is what Tom does. <laughs> that was in 21. You see, Tom cuts and then uh, glues. He's getting a little bit better, probably. Uh, but he cuts and glues. So that's uh, that's a shame for that really nice cardstock. So, uh, you know, that would be good to give him thin cardstock. You know, that's just, uh, that's just what it is. Alrighty. Okay, so put that away. So, uh, so this one, I'm just going to finish with berries. Uh, budget cardstock also. That's also. 
Yeah. Need to get some of those thicker. Yeah, oh, the six inch. Yeah, the six inch is because, uh, so Stemplot, if you use um, the six inch and you have 12 inch papers, you can actually line it up uh, in six inch and then it's just nice uh, to use. So I am going to uh, um, do the base of this. I'm going to put it on the red cardstock and I'm going to put berries on it. And then I think it's, I don't know exactly what I'm going to put in the center yet, but um, something will be there. I know grandma's great, but uh, you know, grandma's the best, of course. But I was exhausted yesterday. Exhausted. It was a busy day. This afternoon, we probably go to the pool. Oh, and these are the candles I did last year in a, in a live. That, those are still fun. Those are from Esther as well, from Esther's release from last year. And that's also glitter. I made a stencil, so there's a video about that one. But if you, if you uh, Google silk microfine glitter, probably on our... Uh, YouTube channel, you will find a lot of um, a lot of glitter ideas. Okay, I love my big uh, my big trash can that I have. And I showed you that. Eh? Got it at uh, the Swedish furniture store. Like a huge trash can. Annette Green got it as well. Although we both have a small craft room, she bought the um, the large uh, the large trash can as well so that and then i have the berries and what i did with the berries i did glitter some berries as well but you know i um i like like some glitter some not that's nice as well so with this i think that's too much so i have this one these ones uh so these ones have the tape on the back and i did color those uh, i did make them shiny with that um glaze the clear glaze pen don't know if you got your hands on that one already but uh Oh, the frame. Oh, the time frame for the monsters. You, I don't know if Joop is here. They should arrive shortly. Uh, I know we're out in the... We're not out in the... Oh, we're out in the US for some. Yeah, in the US for some. And those are ordered. They should be here. Om, they almost should be here. And uh, Belinda, I will ask Joop if, he, if he's not here. Uh, because he might want to have some peace and quiet at the office. <laughs> I can understand that. But... Um, they uh, they are almost here. I'm sure. I'm sure. Although I'm not sure, but uh, I I know they ordered a few weeks ago already, so it should not be long. And I know we're out of number. I think we're out of number one and out of number three. You see how that because with that red border, how that pops. That's just so nice. Love that. And then I'm going to. Uh, Make a few other things. You see, I like that this is a combination of glitter and now uh, regular red. Like just the shiny red berries. And I love that these berries are not even. That's also very nice. Ta -da -da -da, there, two more. And I just cut some of those berry strips out. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Sharon. Yeah, the glitter is, you know, it's just, the glitter is fabulous to work with. Can't say anything else. So you see, so I have these. If you want to, of course, I can put another, you can basically, so as to kind of make spots where you can put the berries. But if you want to put them somewhere else as well, you can do so, of course. Maybe, you know, let, let me, let me show you. Maybe I want to have one here, kind of because it goes that way. Maybe I want to put one here. And you see, I just trimmed this off at the top. You see, so now it kind of goes all the way. And then I can, um, I, I looked at uh, to put this here, but it, uh, then I need to kind of back this with white first. And that's too big. So I'm going to do something else with that. But I uh, I can do a saying here. I left this all open. So if I want to put something underneath there, I can do that. That one candle is too big for that, but uh, I can absolutely do that. Or just put a saying here. That That is, you know, you can just uh, do whatever you want. But... This, again, this is a project. This is so much easier to do. So uh, this was, I, I called it a labor of love. And, and in this case, love and struggling. <laughs> but it came out, at the end, it came out good. But uh, it was a project. Okay, then I have another. Uh, oh, I want to make mistletoe. So, um, and David had a... Um, David, what do you say? You said uh, your uh, things stay sticky. Mine is not sticky. David, do you die? You need to glitter after you die cut. I know if when you die cut, like this one, I die cut after I glittered. And sometimes, and this doesn't feel sticky at all. 
but sometimes because when you uh, glitter first and then press your glitter glittered cardstock through a die cutting machine that's harder and then you might get some sticky edges and you don't want that so but if you die cut the tape first there is no sticky here yet um, and also because if here let, let me be honest here so here I feel nothing now here I feel so the pressure has been different here so here I feel a little bit sticky but because I'm going to glitter now that will not be sticky after I uh, after I glittered it because the glitter will pick up um, it will pick up in uh, oh it says yeah it will pick up on the sticky part oh you have oh no it okay Okay, Marjolein, oh, that's strange. It must be your internet, I hope. Yeah. Oh, glitter on my die cut. On top. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yep, that's what I did. I didn't glitter on my die cut and on top. It still gets sticky. Do you uh, do you burnish it too hard, uh, David? If you burnish really hard, that might be the problem as well. But, you know, I, I can't say. But uh, So you will see now when I glitter this one. It will be, and this I'm going to get a, I'm going to make a red lantern in this case. Uh, I do, yeah, I have no idea. Thank you, Rana. It's really, this is so much fun to do. And these all make, and this stencil I'm not going to use, but um, uh, all the, like the holly will make really nice stencils as well for a different technique that I definitely have uh, online. But, um, oh, you know, I did this actually different because I don't want to, sorry, sorry talking and reading and whatever not good idea i'm going to put this back because i'm first going to put the top on there and um put embossing powder on that yeah you can do that first as well that's the same weight i'm going to emboss this because i want to stick that to the top so i did this in yellow because i'm going to uh, make this gold in this case oh did i get my gold embossing powder out oh then i'm going to Shall I take this? What is this? The glaze, antique linen. Or I have fossiled amber. Choice, choices. I, yeah, no, no, fossiled amber. Although I wanted to have it gold. No, 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 gold. I do have gold embossing powder. Just need to stand up and get it. But um, I wanted to have it gold. And since my studio is so small, I know exactly where everything is, which is so great. What I have here, regular gold metallic, or I have the uh, ultra high. That might be fun with this, although you might know that because then you see that that will separate. What do I have here? Oh, just a of powder gold. That's good. Uh, because if I do that heavy one, then I should have a different, then I should have closer to color cardstock. I don't know if I. Yeah, gold needs to be gold. And I don't do the glitter because I like I like when it's uh, kind of it, that doesn't match at all else that color of paper, but you know whatever, whatever else. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's always wrong. That's always wrong. Just dip it in there. I didn't want to sprinkle it, so I thought I would just do this. Sometimes I like to make myself like a difficult. Okay, so now I need to uh, have this, and I have my. Heat gun here as well. Let me get it out. Did you all see the video from Lolly with the craft tags? Lolly made a really great video uh, with craft tags, which is super cool. I need to get that. I know I have a piece in white somewhere, but I'm just going to hold it a little bit higher that I don't burn my coffee filter. And when I love the the look of the uh, because of course you can use um, you can use um, pa, 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 uh, the the ink pad first mark, but I love the look of the uh, embossing uh, on the tape because it gives you a nice. Uh, I'll, I'll hold it close to the. Oh, I did not do it completely correct, but I uh, I love the look of that because it kind of makes it a little bit more. Um, yeah, let me hold it up. It makes it a little bit more, but you see my uh, thing here. So I need to put it back in there. You see my tweezer there. I need to do it differently. Wait, wait for it. Because it needs to be good. Uh, so um, what I will do. When I leave my embossing powder over here. You see, because it needs to be good. So I'm going to heat it again by holding it. But I need to hold it then. Do I have my, oh, I can do it on here. 
he did dip it in and i just took one corner of that mat i need to have a better thing i had metal yesterday but that gets super hot i thought oh i'm going to use a lid but that was not easy let's see because now i need to because now i need to Oh, yeah, now it's sticking here as well. I'm mad. This is not going to work well. I'll will it hold that there as well. Again, will some embossing powder stick to it? I think I'm good. Let's see. I'm going to heat it one more time so I get I get it, I want to get rid of that. Uh, you see, so I should have done it this way right away. That's what I want to say. Yeah, it's, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 And I have my lead gun here. I don't know if something, because I wanted to hang it, but it didn't work out. So I have my lead gun in a really pretty jar or vase that I got from Terry. Terry made this for me. Look at that. You see? Terry, she signed it. Look at that. So that's in here. So I have her in my craft room. This is good. Although it's a beautiful vase. Hide the monster up, but you can't. Oh yeah, oh that's that would be nice. A monster with no, I'm not going to use the monster, but I could have done that. I could have done that. Okay, this took a long time, else my goodies, my goodies. <laughs> I know it's a gorgeous face. So now I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to put this on here before I glitter because then I can use that sticky part. And what you can do as well, let me show you that because sometimes it's harder to line up. If you want to do that easier, you can just trim a part off and then I don't need to line up the handle. I only need to line up the bottom part, which is easier. See? You can do it that way. Alrighty, there we go. Put this back, keep it organized, and now I can glitter my lantern. Uh, 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 uh. Glitter tray, and this is easy now because now I can hold it. Yeah, the monster with the uh, yeah the monster holding the lens. That will actually be fun. That will be fun. I know, Lisanne. I saw that one, the glitter monster background. That was great. And um, Marga did a great page on Wednesday using monsters in the holy page. That was actually super nice. Okay, I am going to uh, use the true red, which is really uh, my, uh, you know, Christmas red to go to, to go to Christmas red. So you just sprinkle it. Now you see, David, and what, because of this, if you have this, and then it's a sticky here, so I can just dip it in there, but basically it, it touched it already. So, and now it will not be sticky. We need to do a glitter class next time when I'm uh, in the Netherlands. Don't know when, but oh yeah, I do know when. Somewhere. Somewhere in September. And then uh, beginning of October. Of course, put it in here when you throw it back. So if you spill it, it will be in your Swiffer and not on the floor. Tap it off. So that's good to go. Oh, I saw a video from someone using rust powder. Oh, rust powder is, I know I have something rust uh, from, um, oh, Stamperia, I think. Something rusty. And then you're going to polish. And polishing, don't do it too hard, David, that could be the case. If you rub it too hard, just do it uh, till it's shiny. But you don't need to kind of, don't push it in too hard. I don't know. You see, so this is not sticky now anymore. No, I don't feel anything sticky now. So maybe that's it. Maybe you press it too hard. I don't know. I don't know what you do, David. Don't know what you do. Okay, so that's that. Uh, then I have the candles and I have that in... Uh, so this one I inked. I actually like that better, I think, than uh, because otherwise you get glitter again. So I'm going to make a... Um, I did cut it out of... Uh, glitter as well but i like i saved that for another project i like it better when it's not glittered i guess or if you do white i could do this white and then do the dripping in no i like that that look 
So stick with Distress Ink with that one. This is so organized. I have it all at hand. I'm so happy with the newer layout. I'm actually happy with a smaller craft room, I tell you. I still need to organize when you said so what I still had at the office. She said, Mom, Mom, Mom. I know, I know, I know. We need to work. I still need to get rid of stuff. I know where everything is there as well. Although I was looking for my uh, power cord for my uh, old, old uh, computer and I could not find that. That's yeah, the lens with the candle is super cool. And I tried to, I tried, I said, I said, I tried to, um, I tried a piece of acetate to get it in there. Too complicated, too complicated because um, here it's higher than here, and so uh, acetate, forget about it because to kind of weave it through there, way too difficult. So yeah, if you find a way, show it. But I didn't know how to do it. Didn't work out for me. Okay, so that's that. Some shading on there. Oh yeah, but the, you know that the, the computer was really old, the laptop. So and I know it's somewhere, I will find it because it is in uh, it is in a warehouse somewhere in uh, in Evergreen. So I absolutely find it. Uh, but uh, how much time did I want to spend on looking for a power cord? We did too much already, I'll tell you. <laughs> okay, so for the shading, I take the Frey Burlap. Let me see for the comments what I'm missing. Let me see. Oh, yeah, okay. Now I think I'm good. Oh, Mercedes. Yeah, I know. Isn't it fun? It always looks nice. It always looks nice. So just a little bit of... Well, I don't, don't need to do the bottom. I like what Esther did as well with the stamping, but just a little bit vintage -y. Some on the dripping as well. So just a tiny bit. Yeah, it's still warm. Did you see my picture about the deer? Kids went in the garden and said, oh me, there's a deer in the garden. And he was eating uh, what's left over, what was left over of my hosta. So it's probably been here before. And um, yeah, so hosta's gone. Hosta's gone. Yeah, the lantern is really nice. Really nice. And then he started to eat for something else. And then he just like... Uh, jumps over the fence really easy and it's a high fence so he does not care at all what he's doing because he can escape anyway from the garden so walked quietly to the to a next to like a tree ate some of that but i'm pretty sure he liked the hosta sleeves better because he left the tree alone pretty quickly and um Oh, wait, I'm going to take my pen because I noticed that part is a little bit smaller there. So I'm going to color this already. So I'm taking my uh, plastic nib for that one. And then I'm going to see when I'm gluing this one down, I'm going to do the same with that. Just dip it in here. Oh, the lantern, yeah, the lantern is really pretty. Really pretty. And then I just line this up on here. And of course, this is very easy to line up. You kind of just squeeze it at the tip. You see, and now I need to call that again, but I didn't want to have. And those are those little things that, that by making that black, that makes it more pop for me. So, um, yeah, marigolds, I know. I, I left the project, so first of all, I need to get rid of it because I have lilies on the side and he ate all the lilies, which I was glad for, because, but I don't like lilies. So I'm going to push them online here, to, like in the group for the neighborhood, and I'm going to say who likes lilies. Come and dig them out because they were all different colors, I think. But I don't like lilies, so those are going. So the, the garden project is actually for next year. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. Yeah, the garden project will be for next year. 
And then you're just going to slide it in here and just glue that on there, kind of center it. Hold it for a second. How pretty is that? How pretty is that? There you go. Now I notice, okay. And if you want, you can do a, uh, which will be nice, like a little piece of tape here and do it in different colors. I could go around the bottom and do a different, uh, you know, that might be nice if you do some tape here and here. Shall I try that? I'm going to try that. If I can emboss it, I'm going, uh, because this looks like six mil to me. This looks like my six mil tape. I'm going to try that. And then put gold there. Which gold did I use? Oh, that one, yeah. Try, we're here to try. Let's see how that looks. I don't know if it's going to cover everything, so it might be a, a not so successful uh, try. But again, it looks like, I think I'm pretty good with six mil here. And then I need to go around the corner. So I'm going to do this. And then I'll oh, overlap a little bit. That's That should be fine if I use embossing powder. Let's see how that's going to look. It, it, it kind of goes there. Might be nice. I don't know if one layer will cover it, but let's see. Let's see how that works. Let me see of my, um, you see, so now I have my tape there. And if I dip that in there, what, what is it going to do with my glitter? That's another question. We'll see. We will see. But I think I might like the look of it. If this doesn't work with the, like I do it now, right now you can also add a piece of just cardstock there. Just trim it from your die. Okay, there we go. So that's now sticky. Now I need my glitter tray again, which is next to me. Because now I'm going to dump that powder on there. I know. And it's on sale right now. The Tap it off. And that's of course because I polished that uh, glitter. It's sticking a little bit there. So what I'm going to do then is just take a little brush. Because I don't want it on my reds. I'm just... And a few a few spots will not be okay, will will be okay, but just going to brush that away. I love doing things like this. I just try, and if it doesn't work, that would be a bummer because then I show you something that doesn't work. But then it's good as well. Then you don't need to try it. I just try it for you. I think I prepared too much again, but you know, it's always fun. Okay, this away, and then my this one. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. I should have put my candle in later because you don't want to burn the cat. Well, I don't want to burn the candle. That's kind of fun, but um. I actually think I might be okay. I think I might like that. If it goes almost there. Now I still left a few drops of uh, embossing uh, powder there. I'll show you a trick for that as well. Uh, that came out nice. You see, I like that. But uh, I still see some uh, gold there. So uh, trick for that is get out your permanent markers. I uh, yesterday I was doing something. I don't know exactly um, what I did anymore. But um, 
I did something and I used the marker to kind of fix it. And then Annika says, wow, well, me, that's smart. So I get out, uh, you see, if you just use your uh, Copic marker over here or permanent marker, because you can color on the glitter. And then you can hide your uh, little, uh, little mistakes, you see. I know, I like that look. I know, I like that look. Here you go, you see. So put these away. I did get some uh, Copics out as well for a dip, to I kind of show you the coloring in the glitter because you can color on glitter and um, I'll show you that as well. So now we need to, so here I did the holly from the thing and here I'm going to use the holly that actually comes with the lantern because that's pretty as well. So I'm going to add that to my green and it's different greens. We have a, um, I, um, intend to go so this is the green 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 i'll show you you see that's green and a lot of people uh use that for christmas green i intend to go of course we have the darker green as well i intend to the go to green you see that's a little bit less so that's a lot of people think that that's uh, the real christmas green so they use that and i a lot of times go to the go to green so they're both pretty let me uh take the the other green now like the let me take the Christmassy green. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, static powder. Yeah, and yeah, static powder. Yeah, that could work as well. Yeah. Uh oh, let me get this out. Yeah, I like the gold bait. Yeah, thank you. I like it. And just with the six mil tape. When I was looking at it, I thought, oh, that almost looks like six mil, and it worked out well. Yep, just dip this, easy peasy. And I still do that in my filter because you just, well, you see, I just dumped it a little bit over. And uh, so as, so as long as you work in your filter, it will always be fine. Oh yeah, you can mix, yeah, because we mix a lot, like that go-to green is, uh, is a mix of uh, glitter. Uh, so we actually mix a lot of glitters ourselves. Uh, the go to yeah all the like there's a lot of glitters we mixed in there yeah because it's so fine uh what i say is because uh don't mix with the diamond glitter because that doesn't work and don't mix with the white glitter because that doesn't work but um uh, like uh the go to green has some gold and some green in there that's how i got the gold the so i just took uh scoops uh and i have somewhere i don't have it here but then it says, uh, I just mixed it, and then it says two scoops of this, and, and we actually mix that at the warehouse. We mix that in uh, big uh, plastic bins, and then we have a real mix, one of those cement mixers, and that's how they mix it. Yeah. Yeah, so we mix that ourselves. Okay, so that's that. And this can go, and then I'm going to put berries on there. And let me show you, I don't, yeah, I can show it on this. Uh... If you want to color, now it's too small, I'll take the bigger leaves to show you. Because you can actually color with your Copics on the glitter. Okay, so this one, I uh, I did it now several times, trim it loose here and here. So I can shape them a little bit. See, like that, and then they're going to have berries in the center. I'm doing the shiny ones again. Thank you, yeah. You know, I try, I, I just, uh, I learned from my mistakes. So if I do something wrong, you see it here, which is great because then you don't need to do that. Uh, and then uh, sometimes I do things that w will work out. And you see, I use the berries from the, from the holly uh, here. Um, if you don't have berries or you don't have the holly one, but uh, the holly page, you can use rhinestones or uh, just kind of fun. Okay, so that one goes here now. You see, so I like that as well. So this is different green, but it, it kind of pops more. So, you know, somehow I always intend to go to the other one. But this actually looks really nice as well. Oh, damn, I miss what you were talking about. No idea what... <laughs> yeah, there's always something... There's a lot that I miss. Dang, there's a... What were we talking about? Else yours is the go-to green. You said, yeah, mine is the go-to green. So this not. So this is the go-to green. And the go-to green is number 650. And kind of the more Christmassy green that a lot of people, is just a green. 
So 650, 632. And this is one we mixed ourselves as well. We mixed a lot of colors. Like there's so many. Like this one is a beautiful color. Uh, the faded denim. 648. There's so many pretty colors. And some colors have three or four colors in it. Because then I just kept mixing. Because then I did something. And Judy, actually my friend Judy Kaufman makes some of the mixes as well. Yeah. Let's see. You just put this. Look how cool this is on a card. That will be so. so I will put these on cards, but I will do that uh, later. But look how pretty that is. I like the gold base, I have to say. I like the gold base. Yeah, I might even do something here as well. I don't know. But I like that idea. And you still see a little bit of the line of the tape, but that's totally fine for me. I don't know if you... Here, yeah, you see. So you see a little bit, but that's... I don't bother about that at all. Okay, so those are two pretty lanterns. I got this already, so this is just basically uh, dipping in because I don't have that much time. I wanted to do this one as well. And um, so I'm going to do that. And that will just be, in this case, I will just dump glitter and just dip it in there. And then add the berries and a little piece of string. Because those holly leaves and those holly, uh, the note of the holly, the mistletoe comes from the half page from this one. You see, glittering the little stars will be nice. Okay, so this, keep this here. And what if I do, you know, I will take two different colors of green. I will make them different colors. So I will take the forest green, which is darker, and I will take the go-to green. So, and then I have different, um, different uh, kind of colors, which is nice. So I do two in the, and this, you just... Take this off my This will be nice stencils. I will. I will be do something with the stencils. Oh, I need to watch because it's glitter on my finger. So you just kind of scoop that in like this. And then I can hold it here. And then you scoop it in like here. And then you have that one. And then this one I will just polish using my fingers like this. Because you don't want to put it down and rub it. Because then um, it will be... Um, it might kind of get damaged. So that's one. And then a small one. Where are we with the comments? Oh, I miss love. Oh, Nouveau drops. Yeah, you know I have those as well. We actually still have some drops probably at the warehouse. Yeah, the, yeah. No, go to green. Yeah, go to green is nice. Oh, hiding. <laughs> hiding mistakes my special. You know, that's how it works, Tracy. I just noticed you're here as well, Michelle. Nice to see you here. Yeah, uh, hiding mistakes. Yeah, you know, but that's uh, in in uh, in crafts. We mostly have happy mistakes, don't we? We have happy mistakes, and then you just make you work with what you have. Especially store owners because they have time to re they don't have time to repeat it again. That's why store owners probably hide their mistakes because they're happy when they have something done because they're always super busy to make beautiful stuff for you and. Uh, or buy beautiful stuff for you. And then, uh, you know, start all over again is not an option for uh, <laughs> for store owners. Not an option for store owners. Okay, that's that one. And then I'm going to take that go-to green. And I think that will look nice together. And then make a little bundle of uh, holly. Hi, Jane, from Florida as well. Where you all from? Like, I know we have people from different countries, different continents, which is nice. That's that. And then this one. I'm so happy that I'm playing with glitter again. I'm keeping it, uh, in, and by uh, for the people that missed the beginning, I put it in the, all my glitter. I covered my top bottom from my uh, Swedish store card. And um, with Swiffers, I covered it with Swiffers and then put all my glitter in there. So I literally have it at hand right now. And then I have, you hear me tapping off. I have that wonderful, huge, from the same store, uh, trash can down here and then that's metal so it doesn't attach to the uh it doesn't attach to the uh, to the can because if you use plastic don't use plastic 
when you work with glitter because that will explode in a plastic trash can. So you don't want to do that. Okay, so that's that. And then I'll take a swiffer to clean my hands, although the glue doesn't come off. But um, that's that. And then I'm going to put that together with a little bit of glue. You see, so now I have those two tones of, I will bring it up. You see those two tones of a glitter. You see? And that looks nice together. Uh, I love your glitter. Thank you, Jessica. Yeah, they are, the glitters are the best. The best. It's a good thing Elsie isn't seeing in the co I need to scroll back, I see. I need to scroll back. Did you say something bad about me, Michelle? You can't. You can't. We love each other, so don't do that. <laughs> but if it's about a mess, you can do that. Or Michelle is saying something that she doesn't like glitter. Could be. But, you know, if Michelle said she doesn't like glitter, we, I converted a lot of people from glitter haters to glitter lovers with this glitter. But if Michelle doesn't like glitter, if she said something like that, I know she didn't like cutesy, and now she does. Because the monsters are just fabulous. She has a lot of cutesy stuff now. So I converted you that way already. Uh. See, so just a little bit of glow there, just on the stem. That I can put it together. Yeah, that's the mistletoe, yeah. There we go. So that's... Then I'm going to put a little piece of twine around it. I did get the red and white out, but it might be a little bit too thick for this. Although it looks fun. Uh, let me see. Do I have thinner one as well? Just a second. Just a second, because I think this is a little bit too thick. But I don't have all my twine here yet. Let me see how this looks. Otherwise, I take a natural colored one. Just go to see, but this un un untangles as well, I see, so I don't like that. But of course, we can. Hmm, let me see. Let me see. Oh, I took way too much, but you know it. Ah. Yeah, it's kind of fun. So, uh, what I need to do now, I'm going to cut it and then. Um, Take a little bit of glue and kind of glue that together right away because you see it's going to untangle. And I know I have some thinner one that I probably like better. Oh, a little bit too long. You see, I don't, I don't like when it's uh, when it's separating there. So I'm going to take some glue and take care of that. Netherlands, red, white, and blue. No, it's only red and red and white. Oh, from where you're coming from? Oh, I thought you would. Where you're coming from? Oh, that's nice to see. Norway, New Hampshire, Long Island. Oh, let me. Oh, I cannot scroll back more. No, I cannot scroll. Only scroll down. Oklahoma. I know watching demo at uh, Expo. Yeah. Canada. For the summer, Wales, the Netherlands, Arnhem, Netherlands, Huizen. Huizen. I had a colleague in Huizen. Uh, Joop van Beek, probably don't know him, but Joop van Beek was a colleague of mine in uh, in the Netherlands, and he lived in Huizen. I have dirty hands. This is not going to end well with the Carolina, California. Sorry, California. Lived there. We lived in Oxnard, California. Breda, love Breda, Amersfoort. Ans yeah, you know, Ans I told you that I uh, started a peep post there in Amersfoort. Just trimming off the tip. I opened peep post in Amersfoort when it was just starting there. Oh, say from the flooding. How do we have people from the flooded area? Zoetermeer. Zoetermeer is where our warehouse is eh, in the Netherlands. Zoetermeer. So in this case, I'm going to use the white ones because the... Yeah, no white. And I should have made those shiny. I can do that later. I can do that later. And this has tape on the back, so I just need to separate the tape right away. 
And just that little bundle of mistletoe is just so much fun. Do you know that Rineke there are warehouses there, but it's not it's not a, a buying house or something. Texas is hot, yeah. Rijswijk, love, I, I came for my work. Uh, yeah, plastic and glitter doesn't go well. Yeah, Peterborough, I love Peterborough. Uh, you know, and it's so simple. Yeah, um, there, I went with Angela, Angela Johnson, uh, to a really nice bakery in the, on the square in Peterborough. They have the nicest pastries. You, you must know where it is. When you have that, uh, you have the big square, and then you have something that's, uh, you have a covered area there, like an old building or something with pillars. And then where the shopping center is behind it on that side. So you know what I mean. And then here is the here is the uh, bakery. We had lunch there and we went there for pastries. So good. And then on the other side of the square is a really nice pizza restaurant. There is glue everywhere on my tweezer. So when I'm coming again to the UK, I promise, I promise, I promise I visit. Promise, promise, promise. And yeah, Michelle, when I come to Florida, I visit you as well. I don't know if she's still here, but that will be the next one. Michelle was talking about hiding bodies again. Oh, really? <laughs> I know I will change your mind about glitter. It's so easy. And I did change your mind about cute, you see? Alabama. Alabama. Also, I, you know, I've been to a lot of places in uh, in the U.S. actually, where, where we were traveling. Rosendale. Rosendale. Rosendale, we had family as well. Actually, my husband's family was from there, uh, some of them. Um, and their name was Van Tienen. Van Tienen. If you know a Van Tienen, that might be a relative. Okay, I'm talking too much. Uh, because the time uh, flies again. It's 12 again. Oh my goodies. Yeah, this would be a nice... To put it on the tag, you mean, this one? That will be really nice. I think I have enough berries already. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Just open this. Maybe one more here. How cool is this? That is honestly... That is super cute. I did well today for a Friday. Hey. And I did make this gift... And you know, I will not do it all the, all the way. I will tell you quickly. And then I might do it later. Uh, so if you die cut the gifts, uh, when they come out, uh, the tape stays in. So this is just our uh, soft finish that I used here. So it actually, those parts stay in. So when you then uh, die cut the solid as well, you uh, take this off. And then you take your overlay and stick it on here. And I know I did different videos with that as well. And then you want to line it up perfectly right away because it's sticky. So just line this up. And I start at the top. Line this up. You see, and now you have your gift here. And then you always, very important, you always work from dark to light. So all the white or the transparent will always be your last color. I can actually do this quickly because that doesn't take much, much time. You see, so now I can do this in different colors. So if I want to have, uh, so here I have a light inside. So if I want to have, uh, where's my mistletoe? Oh, it went here. If I want to have a darker inside and a light outside, I take up these pieces first. I can also make a different color. So I can do uh, three different colors. So just what, whatever you remove first. You see, so I take this off. So now this will be my darker part. Uh, and let's do, um, I need to find two colors that go nice. Pa, 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 pa. Oh, you know, I got the denim earlier. I love the denim. So let's get that out. You see, so now I can do the denim first. And then I can do a lighter outside. So depending on what you're doing. And when I die cut like this, I don't brush that glitter off. I'm kind of rubbing it in first. Because then it catches in those inside parts as well. See, that. And then brush it off.
this is so quickly so you can make the most nicest gifts uh, from that as well and um you know maybe this is oh is this nice together i'm going to try this so i'm going to do embossing powder on the outside a uh, prize ribbon it might be completely wrong color but it could be let me see if i open it but you could do a, a lighter color of glitter as well now no that's too tricky i don't know how that's going to look. i'm going to do glitter 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 um which color will be nice let me do, ju just do the transparent one with that one because i was going to do light and dark so now if i take this off you see now i can do that light so you can do it opposite sides and then i will do like little uh I'm, i like that covering that with the berries as well so i'm going to cut those out of different colors in this case i'm going to take uh, uh let's do the white so the white is the only one that's not and the black basically so they are not really shiny shiny but that's nice contrast when you have uh yeah that's actually nice so um i'm just covering that in white glitter and i don't brush this off yet always with white and diamond because you don't want any contamination in there you uh, throw this back first and then you brush it off and that brushed off part i'm not going to put back into the jar otherwise you get color in here that's actually a very easy standard uh, thing. So diamond will always be your last color. Okay, so now I brush it off. And now I have that nice gift. Oh, I can do red dots on this one. You see, so now it's opposite from this. So in this case, I took the outside off first, give, uh, did it gold, and then the inside pieces in diamond. In this case, I did the inside first, and then added that... Um, those uh, other pieces so and then i'm doing the dots here what a happy what a happy gift what a happy gift oh you know what i didn't show you yet the, the copic coloring oh my goodies there's so much i want to there's so much you can do i i know i have other videos uh doing that as well shading with the copics there are so many things you can do with that glitter. It's just too much fun. But again, there's lots of videos out there already. So uh, check out our YouTube channel and look for the Silk Microfine Glitter videos. How cool is this? There you go. That's it. And then if you want to do, like, you can also, here I have another uh, solid and an overlay. You can also, if you want to have that ribbon in a different color, because this attached, trim it here. So there's tons and tons of possibilities. But uh, that's for another time. Coloring on glitter, I actually did uh, here quickly. I have my uh, blender pen. I did fill it. Is it? Oh, it's super dry still. Well, there is some, let's see if it works, because there is some. If you want a, a color on your Copic markers or, or your glitter to give it shading, you can just do this, add some color. You see that right away, and then you take your blender pen, but I don't know. But don't work it too long, because it will dissolve the tape underneath. So just get rid of that line, and that's it, and then stay off from it. You see, but then you can see... That you can do shading. So just a quick, you see, so uh, that you can do shading with your Copic markers as well. But you can also put glitter colors together. It's just too much, too much, too much. Uh, so that's it for today. Let's see uh, the comments. If I see something that I need to answer. Minnesota is also very hot right now. Really stupid having too much fun. <laughs> oh, I just did something really. <laughs> what did you do, David? <laughs> Wait, another, uh, what did she do? Oh, your comment is gone. Something else pops up. Wait. Uh, what did she do? Oh, your, your comment. Oh, too, I don't know anymore. The comment is gone. I can only scroll down, but not up, apparently, or whatever. Okay, so very hot in Montreal. Well, it's going to be very cold there as well. So enjoy it while it lasts, Mary <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts. Okay, uh, and David sent me a message what you did really stupid. He will tell me. So uh, this is it for today. So again, like, comment and share. And we have the special on the tape and the glitter. Uh, for that beautiful lens and contact your, and, the, and the mistletoe. Uh, the stores have all those dyes already. And um, 
I won't see you next week. Maybe if, if the satellite works, I'm going to try. I might pop in with something fun. I have no idea. I'll just show you the beautiful nature we're in. I just want to test it. But on Monday, Lisanne and Petra, Mora and daughter, will be here. Uh, it might be if Lisanne has the paper, if she received it. Lisanne will show you the Christmas paper on Monday already. But she's working on something else. But David will be do, do the live on Wednesday and Friday. Thank you so much for that as well. Um, oh, and David will not do his live on Thursday himself then. So he will uh, normally David does a live on Thursday. He will do the Wednesday and the Friday on the Elizabeth Craft Designs channel. Um, so uh, those are the messages I think I want to give you. So thank you all for watching. And uh, I'll see you uh, in a week. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.